Hey, Patrick. Hey, dude. What the fuck was that? Hi, I'm Dave, founder of Halloween Year Round. I'm joined by Patrick. How's it going, everyone? And uh, as you guys saw, we just saw Crimes of the Future, David Cronenberg's new, shall we say, art house sci-fi weird movie. Yeah, weird body horror. It, it definitely movie. is like his, it is to the nth degree of his body horror. And in a weird way, I almost feel like this movie is going to be claimed by, like, extreme BDSM enthusiasts. <laughs> it's coming, and it's, it's sort of like the more art house version of mm. Repo the Genetic Opera. Yeah, I definitely felt, as I felt some of that, as well as also just very uh, heavy themes as well. Like, I definitely felt like some soily green kind of uh, influence on this one in terms of its storyline. Also, just the concept of you know human evolution and genetics and basically where humanity is going you know and, like biologically in the future and is it always necessarily a good place we're going mm -hmm. so it, it's got that weird dystopia with just a dash of environmentalism in there yeah for good measure so very weird movie um definitely not for everyone oh yeah definitely very not visceral for everyone. i i totally understand why people walked out of it uh at the Cannes film festival uh, for me, that was just an endorsement. But if you if you want to walk out of a movie questioning your own sense of sanity, reality, and just thinking, what the hell was that? <laughs> this is the movie for you. Yes. So, check it out. Uh, full review will be up shortly on HalloweenNearOut.com. Like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. If you don't, you may end up in one of those weird operating bays with people removing your extra organs. As a, as a forward avant-garde show. I know. Very, very showmanship, mm -hmm. which I respected. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. Check out Crimes in the Future. And uh, every day is Halloween. Ooh.